Nah, nah. <laughs> he hates me. My, my beat. He left again. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys, man? And welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. I believe last night was my last night without any sleep, man. We have made some crazy progress and we're pretty much almost done on this interstellar grind. You guys can see right here. If we go over two priceless, complete 36 forged camo challenges, we have done 35. And once we do this knife, which is literally just get 20 kills without taking any damage, we can do the priceless camo challenge for any weapon that we want. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Oh, man, this grinder has been crazy. Listen, I need you guys to do me a favor right now. I don't even know if this is possible. If we could get... 5,000 likes on this video for me unlocking Priceless, then I will be happy. I don't know if you guys can do it though, I'll be honest. And also, if you are new around here, subscribe. Do it! By the way, let me be clear, I could probably get Interstellar at this point. The grind from Priceless to Interstellar is so easy. I could have it within a couple hours. In fact, I probably already have it by the time you guys are watching this video, but I just wanna make sure I get these videos out to you guys. The whole grind has actually gone pretty smooth. The only annoying thing to do was this RGL. I'm telling you it must be broken so if you go to the camo challenges you know get 25 kills completely fine you only have to get it to level four too then when you go over to completionist for gold you have to get 10 kills by direct impacts that's insanely easy too but when you get to forge you have to destroy 25 enemy equipment with the rgl it sounds okay until you notice that all that counts as enemy equipment is a bouncing betty or a claymore you never find those running around this was the most annoying challenge to do why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Okay, here we go. We just need to get a bunch of kills without taking any damage. And then we unlock the priceless camo challenge, which is just insanely easy. So let's lock it in. Oh man, this grind has been crazy. I genuinely didn't expect me to get it that quick though. You know, I thought it would take a similar amount of time to... Oh. Oh, does that count as me taking damage? What did I run into? I thought it would take a similar amount of time to Orion because the grind is pretty much the same thing. There we go. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. The grind is pretty much the same thing in terms of, you know, the main part of it being ranking up your weapon. But I don't know. I guess maybe the movement and, of course, having double weapon XP just made everything so much quicker. Also, to be fair, the fact that we didn't have to do long shots, that helps out a lot. <laughs> what the? Let me... Yo. Huh? Hey. Yo, I, there was nothing I could... I've only got a knife. Help me. Come here. Oh. Oh, for... Nah, nah. <laughs> the only annoying thing to do in this grind, like I said, was the RGL. Other than ranking up weapons, the RGL legit took the longest amount of time just because it's simply RNG. Bro, people using claymores or bouncy bettys, nobody does it. And you can't really force anyone to as well. So you're just getting into matches hoping that you find someone with a claymore or bouncy betty. But the craziest part is there's a vest, the engineer vest that you can put on, which is basically the perk that allows you to see enemy equipment through walls. But the problem is, in this game is pretty trash. You can hardly see him through walls. Okay, I'm gonna let you go past. Oh. So yeah, the whole challenge is just chalked. Nah, nah. <laughs> he hates me. My, my beat. He left the. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Come here. Bang, bang, bang. I think we're gonna be insanely close. Oh, here we go. The final forged camo. We got that unlocked, which means now we can do the priceless challenge, which if I remember correctly, I looked before I got into this game. I believe the priceless camo challenge for this weapon, at least, is to get 25 kills whilst in tax stance. So let's do that. And let's take advantage of this game right here and see what we can do. We might be able to unlock priceless in this game. There's actually a bunch of people that consider Priceless to look better than Interstellar. In a similar way to where people, or a bunch of people at least, preferred Polyatomic to Orion. So I'm really excited to see how this Priceless camo looks in this game. And also, since I'm getting it so early, I haven't seen any gameplay of it in-game, literally. So I'm so hyped to see this. Take him up. Down. Ah! 
Come here, buddy. Doing this grind whilst making YouTube videos has been so interesting because I could have had, of course, Interstellar so much quicker if I wasn't making videos. But that's the whole point of the grind for me, you know? I want to be able to share the journey with you guys. But it's funny because each day I probably spend around six hours on each of the videos that you guys have been seeing. So imagine if I was putting that extra time into getting the camos, bro. I would have had it all yesterday. I don't know. I genuinely feel like we could have been the first. Who knows? Yeah, I don't even know. Like, Yo, what? Yo, you can jump up that way. Come here. Oh, I'm real. Huh? I tried to slide cancel and I dolphin dived off of the map. <laughs> Let me see the progress that we made. Oh, we actually. Oh. Oh, I got the challenge completely wrong. Stupid. I have to go five kills without dying 10 times. Why did I think it was tax dance? Damn, that's a pretty fire entrance. Okay, this should be the game where we get priceless. My bad. <laughs> There we go. All right, that is a five kill streak. I'm hoping that I can go at a 10 and it counts as two five kill streaks. Who knows though? This game and his camos have been pretty bugged the whole time. Oh yeah, that reminds me. That RGL challenge that I keep talking about. Bro, one of my games where I actually got insanely lucky and found about five claymores in one game. There was this one guy that just kept throwing them down. Bro, I finished the game after destroying them all. They didn't count. Huh? Do you know how heartbreaking that was? Wait, wait, priceless a lot. Come on. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, flip. We got priceless, man. What the hell? Oh, the ACR as well. This is going to look insane. There we go. I was going to leave, but I had to finish the game out so I could see the final pop up. There we go. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's go over to my weapon. MCW over to camos. Wow. We have it. Oh, my goodness. You know how excited I am to see this in game? Hold up. Oh, my. We flip. He got it. Wait. We have it. <laughs> Priceless. Can you see it move, though? I guess you can. You actually can see it move. I do want it to move a little bit quicker, but this is crazy bro this is <laughs> bro the game came out on what the 10th i don't even know when the game came out but it's literally only been a few days and we've already got this camo and to be honest i saved this for today i could have unlocked it yesterday on the 12th i saved it to make this video <laughs> on the acr as well come on now This thing just looks too clean, man. What is this? See, now I'm extremely excited to get the Interstellar camo because I'm curious to see how it matches up to this, whether it's better than this or not. Look at that. I can even see it on the floor. Crazy. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, chill, yo, chill. So for those of you that don't understand this whole camo grind, basically now since we've got the priceless camo unlocked or at least the priceless camo challenge, what we have to do now is unlock priceless on every single one of the weapons in the game. So there will be just like I did for the ACR, there will be a simple little challenge to do for each weapon. So you unlock the camo for each weapon. And then once you get every weapon priceless, that's when you get the interstellar camo. So it sounds kind of daunting because, you know, you have to get it on every weapon. It's just like the in platinum you know once you get all of the weapons gold you have to do the platinum camo challenge and i promise you it literally only takes a couple hours the challenges are so simple so a couple hours from now i will have the interstellar camo a lot of you guys have also been asking me whether i'm gonna do the zombies camo grind once i get interstellar for sure i am i need it that won't be as much of a rushed grind, though, just because I want to actually enjoy my experience doing that one. The multiplayer one is the one that I take serious. And by the way, I should probably mention, you know, when doing these grinds, I'm not trying to be the first person that gets it. If I was trying to be the first person that gets it, man, you guys know, I wouldn't be able to upload any videos. And I love putting a bunch of time into my videos, man. So when I'm doing the camo grind, really, I'm doing two grinds. I'm doing the grind of uploading YouTube videos every day, but also the camo grind is it gets intense usually results in no sleep but it is what it is 
Hey guys, um, I don't know if you know, but this is the priceless camo. I got the priceless camo unlocked. We do not care. So yeah, now if we go over to the camos, you guys can see right here, Interstellar, complete 36 priceless camo challenges. We've got one done for the ACR. So now after this video, I'm going to be running through all of these different Modern Warfare 3 weapons, unlocking priceless on them. Like I said, they're so easy though. Let's go to this one right here. For example, get 10 enemies affected by your tactical whilst in tag stance. So easy. But listen, I'm not complaining though. <laughs> yeah, this does look nice right if it moved just a little bit quicker then i would be happy you know because you can barely see it move let's be honest you can see it move here just a little bit but when you're inspecting not at all <laughs> it looks like it's still but yeah man thanks for watching again i really want to thank you guys for all of the support that you guys have been showing throughout this whole camo grind it's really helped with all the motivation to continue to grind so i really do appreciate you guys thank you for that if you're wondering when the interstellar video is going to come out probably tomorrow by the time you're watching this video i definitely already have it on Lot. But today's priceless day. We'll save Interstellar for tomorrow. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo Mine. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of fire stuff on there. And my code brothers will get you a discount at checkout. So go make use of that. And yeah, man, the grind, the grind is coming to an end. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.